Hi everyone, welcome to Medical Curiosity. My name is Christina and I'm a second year medical student at the University of Ottawa Faculty of Medicine. Today we'll be learning about fractures. A fracture is a break in a bone. Have you ever broken a bone before? Or do you know anyone who has broken a bone? Your bones are very strong and can almost always stand up to the pressure you put on them. But if the pressure applied on a bone is too much, the bone breaks. People who are over 75 years old are more likely than younger people to break hip bones. The reason is that their bones are not so strong and bones are easier to break as people get older. So here's a question for you. Where is the smallest bone in the body? Pause the video here to choose an answer, and when you're ready, replay the video. The answer is the ear. The smallest bone in your body is found in your inner ear. It is about the size of a grain of rice. Bones are made up of calcium. Bones are very much alive, as much as your heart or brain. For example, astronauts in space who spend time in weightlessness conditions lose 1-2% to of bone mass every month. Just like your muscles, if you do not use your bones, they will weaken. Your bones are made of active connective tissue that is constantly breaking down and regenerating. You get a whole new skeleton every 7-10 to 10 years from this process. Bones are crucial for you to move and function. Bones protect your delicate organs like the heart and the brain. They also produce 240 billion cells a day. One of the most common places to break a bone is the arm. What do you think your arms are made up of? Pause the video here to, to think about this. And when you're ready, replay the video. Your arms are made up of bones, arteries, veins, nerves, and muscles. Bones give your arms support. Arteries and veins are fancy words for tubes that carry blood to supply oxygen. Nerves help you move your muscle to catch a ball, play video games, and feel things like petting a dog. Muscles help move your arm, wrist, and hand. So what should you do if you unfortunately break your arm? First, keep the arm still. Secondly, get an ice pack for the pain, and then call 911. Next, how can you tell if someone has actually broken a bone? To do so, an x-ray is performed. Can you see any fractures in this x-ray image? Sometimes, broken bones heal themselves, and other times, surgery is needed to fix the breaks. Here is another question for you. If babies have 305 bones, how many do adults have? Pause the video here to choose an answer, and when you're ready, replay the video. The answer is 206 bones. As we mentioned earlier, in very bad breaks, it may be necessary to have a surgery to put metal rods or plates into the body to hold the bone pieces together. Sometimes these screws, plates, and other tools are left in the body forever. During surgery, a clean area is needed so that you do not introduce bugs into the person, which is very bad. Doctors wear gowns and gloves. Masks and caps are worn to prevent bugs coming from the mouth and hair into the person too. In total, how many do you think how many bones do you think Evel Knevel broke? Evel Knievel pioneered motorcycle distance jumping. Pause the video here to choose an answer, and when you're ready, replay the video. The answer is 433 bones, which is a world record. Finally, before we end, we have an important topic to talk about. How can we keep our bones healthy? Pause the video here to think about the question. When you're ready, replay the video. Some of the many things that we can do to keep our bones healthy include drinking milk, consuming dairy products for calcium, 
avoiding drinking too much soda products, exercising, wearing helmets to protect our skull, and wearing knee pads and elbow pads to protect our knees and elbows. And that wraps up our presentation on fractures. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you very much.